Hey everyone, so tonight we're doing a review on the Marvel Legends Iron Man Mark 42 from the old Iron Monger build a figure series. I will not be building Iron Monger. Iron Monger. <laughs> um, I already have him built. This is I bought this figure a long time ago. Not this particular one, but before before I started making videos and sold him. So that whole series, um, I pretty much I think I've reviewed most of them. I've caught up on them. I don't know if I've re I don't think I've ever reviewed the Mark 42. Anyway, I got this guy off eBay. You probably saw him in an earlier or older haul video. Uh, clearly, this is all busted up. So we'll go ahead and open them up. And here's kind of something with the old Hasbro Legends. Can't believe these are pretty old now. But it comes with a little instruction sheet. There you go. In case you didn't know how to build Iron Monger. I'll go ahead and pop him out and we'll check out the details. In case you wanted to see, comes with the right arm of Iron Monger. I do have an extra head, so who knows, maybe for fun, I will gather up the other pieces as I find them on sale and I'll build an Iron Monger uh, for you guys. All right, so checking out the Mark 42 armor. This is the only legend we have with this armor. Um, it's a cool figure. It's pretty basic, um, but we're gonna go over the paint applications. So on this one, it's pretty clean. Um, trying to see, they got the blue on the eyes, the black lining, got the black lining over the mouth. He, this one, if you guys could feel it, it's kind of sticky. So I almost feel like the it wasn't well uh, taken care of clearly with the packaging condition, but it almost feels like that when you leave uh, a piece of pla you know, plastic figure in a plastic tub for a long period of time, it kind of gets that sticky feeling almost where the uh, kind of, it's the sign of um, the plastic deteriorating. Um, he kind of has that on the front chest of him and a little bit on the limbs, just kind of FYI. <laughs> I just noticed it, so it's just kind of bothering me, so I have to talk about it. Um, but otherwise, it's a pretty clean paint job. Coming up the top of the helmet, my camera in focus, the gold does kind of bleed onto the red a little bit there. And on the side here, it's pretty clean. Chest here looks good. The arc reactor looks good. There's a little bit of rubbage, you know, Right there on the front, you can kind of see it, especially there. Um, but it's got nice silver paint applications. It does have that same kind of pearlized uh, red plastic. And all the gold's pretty nice. It's just a flat, pretty flat gold. Comes on the front here. You can see a little bit on the red there. Coming down the arms, got the open hand and the repulsor not painted. On the side, has got the fist. Overall, that looks pretty clean. A little bit of rubbing on the shoulder pad there, or shoulders here. Around the back, looks pretty clean. It's got some missing, kind of just shifted over on the paint there. And then coming down the front of the stomach here, you get some silver with the gold, looks good. Leg here has got a lot of missing paint there. Same thing on this side, you can definitely see it, it was rubbing against that plastic a lot more. Overall, it's nice and silver, or right, gold, and they got the silver on the front there. Coming down the legs, more of that gold, and you get some of the silver. Overall, it's a great looking Mark 42. Um, I became more of a fan of Iron Man 3 over this quarantine thing and being stuck at home. I've watched it several times and it kind of grew on me at first when I first saw that movie. I was not really uh, into it at all. Uh, well, not all, but just not one of my favorite, you know, Iron Man movies. Now I'll watch it, but uh, it looks up about that high. Looks down. Sorry, I'm rambling a lot in this video. Looks left and right. These don't really move out of the way. They're kind of stuck in place. Wait. No, they got a little hinge, but this one's really stuck. I don't want to break it. Moves out, forward, and back. Got an upper bias of swivel, double jointed elbows, wrist rotation. Also a hinge at the wrist. This will stick up. Uh, it does have a ball peg up in there, so you can rock them around. Uh, he's got the older joints you can kick up. and actually does not. Sorry. What am I saying? Got the newer ones you can spread. You actually almost do the splits, just about. Got an upper thigh swivel, double jointed knees. No boot rotation, ankles move down, they move up. Does have nice ankle rockers and peggles bomb his feet. All right, I'll show you guys how tall Iron Man Mark 42 is and we'll get in some comparisons. All right guys, so Mark 42 stands up. Little, little about six and a half inches tall. Here he is next to the Mark 43. Very cool. And here he is next to the Marvel Studios Iron Man. So at least they're all pretty similar in height. And the Infinity War. And Endgame. 
which almost looks kind of short. Well, his, arm, his legs are kind of spread there. So let's see. Made a little shorter. Same height as 42. But kind of all the different, you know, move some of the some of the other different move more current movie Iron Man figures. But as you can tell, uh, Mark 42, Mark 43 are exactly the same mold, same figure, just painted almost in opposite colors. So you can see here. And then the Mark 43 came with the alternate head with the face plate lift up. You can see Robert Downey Jr.'s face in there, but it was before they had the whole photo scanning. So it was more just regular sculpt. But just giving you guys a little look-see on the differences. But yeah, so there you go, guys. That's my review on the Mark 42. I'm happy I got him. Uh, I just wish he wasn't kind of feeling that stickiness. It definitely feels almost like waxy on him. But otherwise, I think it's a cool figure. I definitely, you know, I, I wouldn't mind a Marvel Studios version of this guy with him either, you know, just interchangeable parts and just a little better paint applications. I think that'd be really cool. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's pretty quick. Please leave a comment, hit the like button, and subscribe if you haven't. Take care. Bye.